Where was God in 2020? In the virus, in the racial tension, in the job losses, or maybe the election? Fear still rages across our country and consumes our homes and land. The worse it gets, the more we feel enslaved to mandates and demand. So in all of this, we need to see our Father's silver lining. But right now, those five Advent candles are the only things still shining. Missed graduations, empty funerals, masks on, six feet apart, schools meeting digital. Between the division and the conspiracy theories, there's only one thing that rings in my memory, that freedom. It was the joy that held no envy, and now the silence makes me shout till I'm empty. God, where are you? I just can't wait for you to come through and end all this. The way things have been going, can it really be Christmas? Has he really been sitting on the sidelines this entire year, watching us fall apart? What happened to you and I will never part? That doesn't seem possible considering we've always been in his heart. It was I will never leave you nor forsake you from the start. So among the wreckage left behind by this year, our hope and our faith tell us he is still here. So take heart, my friends, and count it all joy, because he was here. Where was God in 2020? He was with the brokenhearted. From every lost soul, dark mindset, life lost to those whose faith had departed. He was in every home when isolation ran deep. His mercy does not distance, his grace does not retreat. And in the biggest question of the year, why did he shut the church? Well, he never did. The church actually never closed. He was in every iPad, cell phone, and every church home. He was in every box of food delivered. He was with every believer, every sinner, every father, every mother, every son, every daughter. And he is still in every rising and setting sun. He was in the battle, whether it was lost or won. He is in every hospital with the young and the old. See, our God never left. He just changed how he spoke. To tell you the truth, He's bigger than 2020. 2,000 years ago, Jesus was born in Bethlehem due to a government mandate, and he took it all and gave us a clean slate. And when he rose from the grave, he said, I'm not done yet, and those words still rain out today. And in a world where it felt like everything was crashing down, love was crashing in. The fear that you're holding, he died to rescind. He's still pursuing you, he's calling you home, and he says, do not fear, you're never alone. So where was God in all the unrest? He was closer than you'll ever know. He was closer than your breath.